Want something a little more laid back than the huge slab of AAA behemoths on the way? Here are some of the most relaxing games coming in 2022 and beyond. You know all about the big games coming in 2022. In fact, we did an in-depth video all about them that you can go and watch after this one. But it's important to find time for cozier games too. The kind of games you need is a palate cleanser before you go to bed and then accidentally end up playing till 4am. These are the gentler experiences, the cozier ones where we're not on a time limit and the focus is on a more peaceful attitude to life than just explosions and endless apocalypses. Subscribe to Logitech G to make sure you never miss a video again and let's journey through some of the most relaxing games on the way this year. So, just to give you a little taster of relaxation that you can have right now, we thought we'd mention a peaceful game that's just been released in VR. The Quest exclusive Lost Recipes is the opposite of Overcooked and Cooking Simulator, which tend to up your heart rate as well as the temperature in the kitchen. Lost Recipes, on the other hand, is all about creating authentic food from three different historical cultures in ultra-peaceful surroundings. No one is asking you to shout yes chef here. Instead, you're encouraged to take as much time as you need to create these dishes, and the game is based on extensive cultural research. Not only are you actually succeeding at a cooking game because there's no stress timer in the corner, but you're also learning about historic food techniques and kitchen gadgets at the same time. Just don't go in hungry. It's official. If a game has a fully playable ukulele, we will absolutely lust after it. Tachaya is set amidst a beautiful open world tropical paradise. It's inspired by New Caledonia, a tiny Pacific island that's home of one of the team's co founders. We explore as the titular Tachaya, who not only treats the skies as a trick arena with spins and rolls, but can also take control of any animal or object in the game. This means as well as bouncing between trees with the innovative physics system, Gravity Who, we'll be able to take to the skies as a bird or dig for treasure as a canine friend. Tachaya looks almost offensively beautiful and we'll get to grips with all kinds of useful tools as well as that ukulele which even comes in handy for narrative reasons. Yeah, narrative reasons. We've talked about it before on the channel, but that's because The Wandering Village isn't quite like any other simulation game. The concept is very simple. What if settlement survival experience, but on the back of a giant moving creature? Yes, now we've got your attention. This unique experience from Strayfawn Studio looks like something truly special, as we try and keep the village running happily at the same time as trudging across an apocalyptic landscape on the back of a creature known as the Onbu. And we've got to make important decisions too. Are you going to live in harmony with your saviour the monster, or make decisions that could harm your steed but benefit the settlement as a whole? The experience might not be a relaxing one, but we're filing this under cozy because we want to be lulled to sleep on a bed atop a Godzilla-sized animal. There are few art styles as cozy and comforting as the top-down pixelated joys of Moonstone Island. This is a colourful deck builder that lets you explore more than 120 unique islands on a quest to find the home of a villainy known as the Creeping Dark. This vibrant, procedurally generated world is full of creatures to battle, and did we mention you can fly on a broom or glider between locations. You can build your tiny alchemist a home anywhere you want in the world, across multiple biomes. And who needs to go to the magic shop when it finds you in this vaguely threatening manner? Surely a street would be less intimidating, but I guess it is the magic shop. With crafting and surprises aplenty, we can't wait to lose ourselves in Moonstone Island later this year. Have you ever felt guilty for annihilating a beautiful green space to play your favourite city building game? For switching out all that lovely grass for miserable housing, clogging lovely blue water with waste from a thousand sims. No, neither have we. But Terranil is happily here to tell us where we've been going wrong. Developers Free Lives are calling this a reverse city builder. Instead of deleting green space, 
Here we're bringing it back to life with irrigation techniques and even the introduction of biodiversity. Everything here is hand-painted and accompanied by a meditative soundtrack so we can truly relax in the outdoors. It's reassuring to know that we can undo all of those many years of relentless industrialization by bringing back nature and uh, trying to avoid devastating fires. Okay, we're not saying it's all really relaxing, just mostly. Sticking with the theme of nature, our next entry is all about the simple happiness to be found in planting a unique green space. In the garden path, we'll be arming ourselves with shovels and a pair of boots that we really don't mind getting absolutely filthy. Unlike something like Stardew Valley, where a matter of hours can see the change of the seasons, the garden path's time reflects our own. This isn't a world to binge, but one to pick up and play whenever we want and thankfully there will be company along the way. Visitors will come and visit your tranquil hideaway to keep you entertained, and there are always little activities to pass the time as the plants do their own thing. If, despite your best efforts, you even manage to murder houseplants, this might be the perfect digital garden. And finally, so that 2023 doesn't look so distant and bleak, We've got some green in Songs of Glimmerwick too. It officially doesn't get much more relaxing and cozy than enrolling in a magical fantasy school in the woods and growing unique plants for potions in the garden. We've got a while to wait, but the studio is working on making this a story-driven RPG with elements of adventure games and life sims. We'll be learning spells to enchant the world around us and connecting with nature as we explore this intriguing lush universe. And because all work and no play makes, well, it's it's not good, there are all kinds of fun extracurricular activities to take part in. We can go diving for seashells, go on forest expeditions, and even, hang on, is, is this right? Join the moth racing team. Not that I'm making light of a serious sport or anything. So those are some of the most exciting, relaxing and cozy games on the way in 2022 and beyond. Let us know what you're most excited to be zen with in the comments below. Drop us a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to Logitech G for more videos just like this one. If you do already subscribe and are feeling suitably chilled, remember to lazily nudge that notification bell so you know exactly when our next video lands.